Praise be to God on this glorious day, everybody! Color Party's back for the bonus episode of Donkey Kong Country Free. So this is going to be a pretty short episode, I think, because we only have a couple things I want to show off today. Really just all the stuff we didn't get to around to exploring in the regular game. So, first up, we're going to do all the uh, different warp barrels in the game. There are ten warp barrels, one for each level in the first two worlds. And after that, we can explore the codes. And besides that, uh, there's nothing else. So, starting off, Lakeside Limbo. So most of the warp barrels are pretty easy to find. It's just a matter of team throwing in the right spots. Warp barrels are totally invisible until you enter them. And they teleport you straight to the end of the level. And yay, we get to hear the mill music again! Only for like a few seconds though. Yeah, you're gonna need both columns. So the warp barrels tend to be very close to the beginning of the level, but not always. <laughs> yeah, honestly, if you just go around team throwing everywhere, you're gonna find the warp barrels pretty easily. I suppose we could do more Swanky's Dash and Cranky's Dojo, but there's really no point. And I've already shown off them both, so... Also, I don't remember exactly where all the warp barrels are. I just remember you need to team throw to all of them. Alright, it must be over here. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> that happened. Oh, it might be up here. There we go. That's a well-hidden one, because you have to jump on the wall. <laughs> Kitty Cone's just clearing all the levels. Gotta be somewhere around here. There we go. Always high up. The war barrels are just kind of a fun little Easter egg that is, uh, it's pretty fun to watch for them. Try to find them. I actually didn't know you could slow down the elevator at the beginning by jumping. That one's pretty easy to find. There are a couple in Kremwood Forest that I actually just found completely by accident. Like, on my first time playing, which is kind of funny. Speaking of Kremwood Forest, let's go there right now! Uh, okay, you can only swim under parts of the bridge. I guess that makes sense. Also, I never really got to point out, but the overworld music is quite nice. Alright, starting off with Spring and Spiders. I do not remember where the warp barrel is on this level at all. We'll just have to... F see. Oh, that's a really easy one to find as well. 
You don't even need the team throw. I think it would be interesting if there was a warp barrel on every level, except then people would just go out of their way to try to find the warp barrels. Alright, this is the important one. Because we might... I can't remember if it's this or the Super Nintendo one where it won't allow you to beat Brash's record if you take the warp barrel. Darn it. The bees are going to be annoying on this level for finding the warp barrel. But it's okay. We need to lengthen this video somehow. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. Oh, okay, it's the GBA one where you can beat Brash's record by taking the war barrel. 14 seconds, beat that, Brash! Alright, I'm just gonna take a wild guess and say that the war barrel's up here. Yep, sure enough. No parry the parallel bird today. Okay, this next level barrel shield bust up, this is the one that I found completely by accident, along with the Riverside Race one. Like, this is one you're probably going to find just by accident. It's a decent ways into the beginning of the level. Yeah, past the K and the O, believe it or not. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I forgot how far into this level the warp barrel is. I really did. I love the tree music. Yeah, fall down here, hold left, and but bada bing bada boom. I was just trying to explore everywhere in the tree and I found that one by accident. <laughs> Alright, I wonder if Brash says something different now that we've just destroyed his record. Don't get too cocky! I've demanded an inquiry! I'll get my title back from you, Collins, just you wait. Uh, good luck with that, Brash. I've kind of updated the record since, uh, <laughs> last time we met. Bobbing Barrel Brawl, last level of a Warp Barrel. <laughs> Piggyback Ride! Is it underwater? Nope. Worth a try. Putting it underwater would have been a clever move. I keep getting excited when Dixie grabs onto something, but it's just the edge of the level. That's so weird. You can, like, land on the ceiling. Okay, I feel like we've passed it by now, because I... I feel like we've passed it by now. <laughs> it's easier to avoid Snap Jaw in this than in Donkey Kong Country 2. Just a little bit. Alright, where could that warp barrel be? Oh, okay. It's just in a weird place. But that makes sense. And once again, we beat the level!
Last time we get to hear that jingle. Alright. So that does it for the warp barrels. It's time for the codes. Because, just like in Donkey Kong Country 2, if we go to options and sheets, we can type in codes. So I actually have pulled up a list of codes in ahead of time, just so I don't forget anything. Let me bring that up. Alright, so there's a couple ones. Starting off, type in extras. And, hey, hey, you can go to main game or extras. We can do Funky's Rental, Squanky's Dash, or Cranky's Dojo. Let's try Chaos Core. Just to see how hard this gets. Okay. Ouch. That's not very nice. So this is, uh, interesting. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I bet I was supposed to duck there. Oh, well. Oh. That's a weird picture. That's a very weird picture. Alright. Cranky's Dojo, does this change? It sure does. Let's do the Crematoa one. Do 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 do. This doesn't seem to be any different. Training over. Because it was lame. I think that might be a permanent cheat. That might just always have the extras menu up. Yeah, pass on that. I've had enough of Funky, uh, to be perfectly honest. Okay. Back to cheats, because we got plenty more. Alright, if we type in... F what the heck? One of the codes is 46 coins, but there are no numbers here. So... I'm gonna guess that one just is a fake one. Uh, if you type... That can't be right. I'll try it. If you type in Aqua... Oh! If you type in Aqua, that will cause you to start with all of the bonus coins. That's a weird one. Oh, this is my personal favorite one. Just type in music. And you get the soundtrack! So, Stilt Village, this is for the file select as well as the bridge levels. That's a good one. My personal favorite, Mill Fever. Oh! I love Mill Fever. Northern Cremisphere, the overworld theme. The theme that plays when you start up the game. The theme that plays when you go back to the main menu after uh, playing the game for a bit. Yeah, that one's catchy. This one's super catchy. Boss Boogie. I love Boss Boogie. Brother's Bear. Brother Bear, did you pick up your bicycle from the front yard? This one is actually not the music that plays when you face the Banana Queen. This is the music that plays at the beginning of Stampede Sprint. Before you actually get chased by the rats. Ugh. We all know Treetop Tumble. That was a fun one. This is an interesting one. It plays both the above water and underwater music at the same time. A 
it seems there's quite a few audio problems. That's what happens when the GBA tries to play two songs at the same time. Oh, Waterworld. I love both the GBA and Super NES theme. Eric Boss. This one was not in the Super Nintendo version. I wish this played for more than just Eric and Croctopus, though. Admittedly, the Super Nintendo version did have a different theme for Baron K. Ruinstein and Nautilus. Uh, it was called Big Boss Boogie, I believe. Or Big Boss Blue. Big Boss Blues, that was it. That was a fun one. Waterfall, this was called Cascade Capers in the Super Nintendo version. Nuts and Bolts. Another one of my favorites from the game. So catchy. Pokey Pipes I was not as big of a fan of. I thought this was kind of weak in both the games. The cave music, of course. Jangle Bells, so... There was a song in the Super Nintendo version called Jangle Bells, but... That was what played when you used the Christmas cheat. Which basically all bonus fe uh, but all bonus barrels played basically a digital version of Jingle Bells. Whereas this music in the Super Nintendo version was called Hot Pursuit. And it also played on Riverside Race and Stampede Sprint, whereas this uh, the GBA version played different tracks for that. Also, the Super Nintendo version had a unique track for Rocket Rush. It only played on that level. It was it was interesting. Oh yeah! Old West, everybody! Boo, 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 boo. Jungle Jitter. This is what the music that plays on the rainforest levels besides Stampede Sprint. I'm not gonna listen for that entire minute of environmental noises, though. This plays in the Banana Bird Caves. I hope you know where this plays. Love the song and hate the level. <laughs> and it had to interrupt Cranky's dojo for songs. No. We'll get to the game over in just a bit. That's all the music. Couple more cheats. So, if you type in monkey, you start the game with 30, 50 more lives. K reddits, that's credits, but with a K at the beginning, you can view the credits. Harder makes the game harder by removing all the checkpoint barrels. I'm going to take it to the next level. Tougher. That makes the game even harder. This removes checkpoint barrels and calm barrels. Yeah, th this is an intense mode. That reminds me, I kind of want to play Donkey Kong Country 1 Hero Mode, eventually. That's where you play for- it's similar to this, whereas you play for the whole game only as Diddy Kong, and no checkpoint barrels, no calm barrels. At least this one, at the in-between levels, you get both calms back, just because there's some stuff you need both calms for. But yeah, as you're going to see, no help barrels at all. And no checkpoint barrels. I'm not picking up any of those lives, though. Because I eventually want to show off the game over. Which a lot of people found to be creepy. Which I do not understand how they could find it to be creepy. Maybe it's the Super Nintendo version that's a bit scarier. I don't know. They're Neither one are super creepy. Yep, you'll notice there was no checkpoint barrel on that level. But yeah, we need to trigger the game over. So please excuse me while I go kill myself five more times. And yeah, you'll notice I magically got both columns again. 
just because that's one way that Tougher actually is slightly more forgiving, I guess? You'll always start the level with both columns, it's just, well, <laughs> no checkpoint barrels. And you can't refill on columns in the middle of the level. Columns are now a commodity. Go out and invest in the commodity known as columns. So the Donkey Kong Country games are known for having kind of depressing and scary game overs. This one, not so much. So, like, you had the first Donkey Kong Country with a game over where it's like Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong super beaten up. Second one had Donkey Kong, or Diddy Kong and D Dixie Kong caught in a prison. Well, this one's quite a bit less ominous. They get put in a timeout. <laughs> Yeah. But that's everything I have to show in Donkey Kong Country 3. We beat that game pretty easily, I, I think. With a few exceptions, of course. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. If you like what you saw, leave a like and subscribe, and it'll let you know when I put out more Let's Plays. I put out a lot of content, so I really hope to see you in the future. In the meantime, have a great day, God bless, and I hope to see you for my next Let's Play.